How? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. This is Carla Renata, aka the Kirby Critic, and I shoot straight from the hip. Yeah, you know I'm shooting straight from the hip. <laughs> Let's take a trip around the curve. Hello, Carla. Hey, Russell. How you doing? Doing oh, well. And yourself? I'm good. It's been a minute since I've seen you. You're a big old star now. <laughs> You're a big old star now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know, brother that continues to work. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You know, audiences are so used to seeing you play these um, dramatic roles. Do you think you would ever four-way into, like, you know, a musical or some sitcoms? You know, I would love to. It's it, it's very interesting that you raise this because my my friends, my close friends who know me, they see they I, they see the funny, crazy side of me. You know, I'm the one cracking jokes. I'm the one doing off color comments. I'm the one singing little songs and little ditties and just being just irreverent. You know what I mean? And just having a good time. And so they're they're like when they see me do the dramatic, they're like, dude. <laughs> That's not the brother I know. Like, you just switch up on us. And so I'm more of, in real life, the silly guy in real life, the fun, silly guy. But then on, on screen, I'm the I'm the drama man. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, you do it well. But I'm, I'm going to need you to be in some some musicals or a sitcom or something so we can see you lighten up a little bit. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spirit comedian. <laughs> oh, I like that. A spirit comedian. Oh, I'm yeah. doing that. I'm stealing that. Right and, on. Okay. And I also heard that with BMF, you almost didn't take this gig. You want to tell me why? Because I got tired of being the daddy. I got tired of being <laughs> James Evans. Part two. Um, yeah. I mean, that was honestly, that that's, that's really what it was initially. I was just, I got tired of being the father and, you know, you know, my dear friend Tasha really convinced me uh, that she needed me. She wanted me. And also when I spoke to Randy, the creator, he said, brother, if you take this, I'm going to write stuff for you. Oh, he was wow. like, initially the role was supposed to be real small, nothing jumping, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But got me and and my sister, Nicole, they said, oh, we got something here. So I'm a, and he did that to his word. He, he did that. He wrote for me and I really greatly appreciate it. Yeah, I know McCole too. McCole and I, we were on that audition circuit forever. Yeah. You know, her all the time, all the time. And you, the two of y'all, I'm glad you brought her up because the two of you guys are fire. <laughs> fire on this series. Fire. Oh my God. There's this one scene with y'all where you're pumping the weights and she walks away and she's fanning. I'm like, oh, y'all are killing me right now. <laughs> we, we, we know we go back to the theater as well. You know what mm. I mean? Them plays, all that kind of stuff like that. And, you know, we, we're we both, she's soulful, I'm soulful, you know what I mean? And it's just, we're we're throwbacks, you know what I mean? And so we we, come, we were raised, at, at, you know, with the, with the same spirit in parenting and our neighborhoods and the people and the folks and all that kind of stuff. So we just, we're able to jive and make it work. So I know as actors, it's always a really frightening thing for us to, you know, make that leap into directing. But you did that with the seventh episode of this season. How hard or difficult was it for you to manipulate directing yourself? You know, it was all a challenge, Carla, quite honestly. Uh, I had I had a good amount of time, fortunately, for myself to prepare. But, uh, you know, you can't you can never prepare enough. Um, I was I was nervous, uh, a little scared, um, but you know I had a um, I had a lot of great mentors, people helping me, and I had a lot of real good support from the the cast and crew of BMF and and the producers as well. So they really believed in me and trusted me. I love that. Well, you know, as someone, and it may have been your character, someone in, in an episode said, God, don't make no mistakes. They definitely did make a mistake making you part of the BMF family. And I thank you for giving me your time today. I really appreciate it. You honor me, Carla. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate it. You're welcome. Hey, sis. Hi, Carla. I, you were like, okay, for the curvy film critic. I like that. Honey, I like it too. <laughs> So I really loved you 
in this season. I loved what you were doing. You are completely unrecognizable, which I really loved, which tells me you totally got into your character. Did you collaborate with the um, show on what your look was going to be? So when they stripped me down, I was like, damn, where my lashes at? But let's go. <laughs> where my nails? Where my lashes? Where my glam? They was like, take it all off. <laughs> I loved it. You killed it, sis. You really did. Now, um, what do you know about baseball, though? Actually, I grew up playing, you know, on the playground softball with like the neighborhood kids. So I never played on a team, but I played it as a sport growing up. So I really identified with he and her being raised around a whole bunch of boys and being a time girl going to college. Um, I, th I find I find a lot of parallels that went with my life. OK, and I know that Russell directed this episode that that you were in. What was it like to work with him as a director? Because we know him to be, you know, an amazingly gifted actor. So what was it like working with him as a director? Well, first and foremost, the first thing that he said as soon as I came on set was he was like, I'm from the Bay, too. So automatically, it's just that Bay Area, California love connection. Um, he was very thorough. He knew what he wanted. And what I really appreciated um, with him in the cast is before each each scene, we'd like read through our lines to get like all the energy out and he'd give us real time notes and everything went real fast. Cool. And I heard you describe Kia as crazy, sexy, cool. What about her as crazy? What about her as sexy? And what about her as cool? Uh, well, crazy, um, when they're at that at the the restaurant and she come out to the parking lot, she handled her business, girl. I was like, <laughs> they were like, you play that scene a little too well. <laughs> <laughs> And she's sexy because towards the end of the scene, you see a softer, you see a softer side of her. Um, that was that was a definitely a scene that there was that was new for me. And um, cool, I just feel like she's one of the boys. She's down the row. When one of her family members got caught into some things, she was like, "What's up? I'm here. Let's go." I loved it. I loved everything about that. Thank you for answering that for me. And last but not least, let's talk about your collab with True Religion. Because oh, you said on your IG, please ask me in my interview about <laughs> True Religion. So I'm asking you about True Religion. Thank you, girl. I feel like I'm living my 2000s little girl dream. Um, the jeans fit amazing. I can't wait for you guys to see the several drops because it's not just like one season one seasonal campaign, I have several drops throughout the year. So they were a pleasure to to shoot with. The silhouettes are bomb. And um, I'm excited that they chose me to be the new true girl. Well, girl, since you're the new true girl and I am the curvy girl, I'm going to need you to bless a sister with some true part. religion curvy fashion. Okay, Shannon, set it up, please. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Sweetie, thank you so much for your time today. This was a pleasure talking to you. I hope we get some more opportunities to talk about you and your acting because you're really quite stellar at it. Thank you, Carla, the curvy critic. Thank you, sweetie, the diva, God's favorite. Oh, no, that's <laughs> <laughs>